Well, I'm the medical director of FASD Experts, and we're a uh, group that was formed in 2007. Our real contribution is that we took all of the significant uh, and very extensive basic science and just applied it to the forensic or legal setting. In 1992, Robert Alton Harris was the first person executed after a 25-year moratorium in California. And um, his legal process had uh, been essentially exhausted. It was a clemency appeal, clemency request to the governor of the state of California. And uh, in 1992, despite the fact that Robert Alton Harris was known to have FASD, the governor is co in his comments clearly didn't get it. And we have come a long way. Not long enough. In 2010, Brandon Road was executed by the state of Georgia. I actually examined him right before his execution. FASD was not raised at his trial. And although it was raised later in appeals, that was too little and too late. The thrust of what all this relates to is that FASD needs to be appreciated and identified as early as possible, as early as possible in life, but also as early as possible in any significant legal case. One of the important examples is the case of Isaac Agee that recently happened in Oregon. People with FASD get the short end of the stick in a way that's very tragic, particularly when we're talking about death penalty. And that's because these folks don't function very well. They function like the mildly mentally retarded, although they may not on testing be mildly mentally retarded. So when they're apprehended, they're giving confessions, some of which, they're, some of which they haven't even really done. They confess readily and over-confess. They don't do a great job conferring and assisting counsel. And the issues are very, very difficult to present capably in front of a jury. We're learning more and more every day. Our group, we think, does a nice job, but it's very hard. And so our big thrust in FASD experts is training local, regional groups to do this. Because when it's done well, it tends to be very effective. So we're very excited. We're very appreciative.